blessings. This is Ariel, the artsy intuitive, and I was guided to do a, a special reading. I'm tuning in and focusing on the Divine Mother, the Divine Goddess energies, Gaia, Gaia energies, and I've got a little bit of something in the background. Hopefully it's fine for YouTube. Okay, so. How are you doing? So I invite you to breathe in the Divine Goddess energy and let it bathe and let it simmer, let it soak your entire presence. Okay, I pulled out these two feathers that I had. I just felt guided to do some feathers to um, get in this, activate this soaring energy and this taking flight. And I'm going to go ahead and burn some sage and do a little bit of um, beginning a little ritual before we begin. So, I like to do general readings, I like to do twin flame readings, whatever I am guided to. A lot of the times it just flows out. But today, I feel called to do, let's see what messages come out for messages, messages for the Divine Masculine from the Divine Feminine, that calling, that, that inner goddess awareness, that, that calling of the goddess to the divine masculine. And so as I do that, I'm we just cleanse the space. My space is very much cleansed, but I still do the sage and the, and the incense as a part of my ritual for starting any type of readings or any type of messages from from my guides and we just go ahead and clear 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 activate the bird energy activate the bird energy okay activating the light language wants to come out the chocolate and sure that I'm gonna see cashula kasi kushu she in a matto su she got a rosa kama shula pasa kamara di shu shamato yes the inner the goddess within the goddess wants to come forth and express herself okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here we just know that this space is clear I have my moon my lunar energy of the divine which is of divine feminine and so I'm going to light that as well oh try it again <sighs> pulling in these energies of the divine feather of feather did I say yeah feather divine feminine feminine goddess activating that within you divine masculine and divine feminine so okay let's get into this so, spirit. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting in tune with what cards to pick. Okay. I'm going to do first the Romance Angel deck, okay? As you can tell, I'm. Once I said that, but that play button, I just, I felt the Divine Feminine, Mother, Divine um, Mother, Mary Magdalene, and Guan Yin, and um, I got as Isis, and all the Divine Goddesses just flowing right in through. So, 
what messages do we have for our beloved divine masculines as they are on their journey as we are on our journey together and um this is twin flames I'm geared towards men my candle oh, well candle candle okay i know what to do I'm going to light this red candle, red for love, red for passion, red for divine goddess, energy, that creativity, letting go, purging of the lower um, root chakras, sacral chakras. There we go. We'll get some of that. Um, okay. I'm going to lower it a little bit. There we go. So we can see some of the cards. Okay. So, hopefully that will stay. Hi, can you see me? Can you see me? Is that a little better? It's a little better. Okay. So let's, um, okay. <laughs> this always this seems to come out a lot. Mm, okay, so we have a reconciliation, okay? And someone from your past has returned to your life. Message from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Tuning into the energy of this card. Uh, there's a lot of energies from this eclipse of new energies. A lot of um, twin flame energies wanting to come into reconciliation of reunion and union. As with union is within first. And so as with... as the saying is, as within, as without, as above, so below, they manifest into the physical. But it's a very spiritual card. The message is this energy of, I know that you're there. There also is this, still this longing from, from divine feminine to divine masculine. I feel your presence with me always I know you're there you guide me and you help me throughout this journey and I am very appreciative of this journey and yes I still have a longing to to be held in your arms and see how he's just like I feel the support I feel your support Mm, beautiful. So we have that reconciliation, okay? I'm gonna shuffle it again. The reconciliation is the energy is coming in. Message from Divine Goddess, Divine Feminine. Messages to Divine Masculine. Too many cards, let's see. Okay. Codependency, yes. We, Divine Feminine is saying we are healing this codependent energy. You are healing this codependent energy. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So Divine Masculines, let those, let those go. We are here to anchor in this light onto this planet. And with that, we, we are healing those codependent um, behaviors and it's okay it's a process okay so we have codependency reconciliation let's get some what other messages spirit oh that flipped right out flirt divine feminine she's she's wanting to be have that light-hearted flirt flirtatious energy she wants to lighten up any uh, energies that were dark, dark and challenging. So extend your lighthearted energy to others. And it's also, you are love, masculine. You are divine love. We are love. And so as you go in your day, in, at your job, at your work, with your family, with your kids, where, wherever you go, you can extend this lighthearted funness and that will 
lift up your vibration and it will help you to anchor that in into your life. But it's also a message from this divine goddess energy that yes, of course, the divine feminine longs for longs and um, that's not the right word, but wants this flirtatious uh, energy. Um, because we are in human bodies, okay? So it's pretty. It's still pretty natural to have those feelings. So let's go deeper. Let's go beyond these romantic energies. It's beautiful. But let's go deeper into the divine goddess and what messages for her beloved that she has. Okay, so let's go deep into the Isis Oracle deck. And that will give us some deeper meanings. The Divine Goddess loves expressing herself. The Divine Goddess wants to express her, her admiration and her, her love to her Divine Masculine. That's just what's going through, what I'm feeling through right now. Okay, so Divine Goddess, what what would you like to say to our beloved Divine Masculines at this time? Whoa, okay. Yes, I got this. Yeah. Da -da -da. Temple of Black Obsidian. This is the dark healing chamber. So this is those energies. Divine Masculine, we know that you are healing. Divine Goddess sees that you are, you are persevering, that you're transmuting, even if you don't realize what transmuting is or what, what that represents. Going into the dark chamber, which is entering the dark night of the soul, going through um, challenging times, and but knowing that you will get through it. I want to get some more information through the book because... It gives more information, okay? So, hold on, let me get my book for, let's see, it is the Black Obsidian, Temple of the Black Obsidian, okay. Temple of, it's going through the this darkness and we know that the shadow, the ego. It's just all part of the experience. And that is why we're here to transmute those energies in into other energies that are more say positive. Um, and sometimes it's very challenging. Okay. It's not like a walk in the park, I would say, but you have the grace of the divine goddess helping you along. Okay. Um, Temple, 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 temple of, here we go. The dark healing chamber, divine masculine. Beloved initiate, the most challenging task is not to confront an external enemy, but to take courage in both hands and journey within. To meet our own dark self and begin the healing task of bringing love, acceptance, and light to it. That is the sacred purpose of any enemy within or without to bring us more deeply into our own being as we seek to find and heal the darkness within. The Temple of the Black Obsidian is a ruthlessly honest place of raw love and healing, truly profound and lasting. Deep relief and transformation can occur here. Black Obsidian is protective and revealing. Definitely. I don't even think I have Obsidian. I did at one point. But it, that stone, it definitely is that. If you're going to have, you know, it really reveals, you know, inner fears and, and whatever is lurking in the shadows right here. Okay. It will prevent harm from external or internal forces. But it will also reveal that which has been lurking in the shadows. 
of the self, trying to avoid being brought out into the open for fear of condemnation. The biggest challenge we face in entering the temple of black obsidian is our own unwillingness to love and accept all parts of us. The initiate who is invited, which is beloved divine masculine, which we is the divine goddess is inviting you into this temple which it is ongoing it has has occurred we have been going through those energies okay okay so invited to enter this temple a black obsidian enters into his or her own shadow the part of us that is hidden from our own awareness and is usually only experienced in relationship to others quite often as projection. Lady Isis as the dark priestess of the temple of the black obsidian invites you now to confront the parts of your own eagle, eagle, ego that you have denied previously. Why? Because in doing so you will gain more freedom. Come to know yourself more wholly and you will find that life experiences, opportunity, opportunities, relationships, and breakthroughs that you have not been able to reach will suddenly become available to you. The dark chamber always leads to the light chamber, but one cannot avoid the initiation of the temple of the black obsidian on the pathway to more light. Isis will assist you in preparing for this journey by encouraging you to not allow you to not allow yourself to become your own worst enemy. Most of the fear we have before the dark chamber of healing is the fear of our own self-criticism and rejection. Isis declares that readiness for the dark chamber requires a willingness to exercise non-judgment, compassion, and a readiness to accept the self in all expressions. To safely enter the dark chamber and be healed, you must be prepared to give yourself love unconditionally. You must be able to recognize judgments that you hold towards yourself. Not as truths, but as old patterning. Old patterning, old conditioning, old stuff that we have been taught or we or you know, one experience one experience can be locked into our subconscious and then we carry it around and that's how we think we have to be. So we it's part of letting that go, okay? This is why the sex, successful initiation of, of the dark chamber is a truly advanced stage of soul development. The heart has become willing to love unconditionally and the initiate must be able to witness feelings that arise with kindness and acceptance, but not fall into them overwhelmed, crushed, or deflated by any darkness found within. It is worth the challenge because finding peace from pain, self-criticism, Self-doubt, fear, and self-judgment through healing in this temple is a gift beyond measure. Oh my gosh, yes. So there's a ritual that goes with it. I'm not going to go with um, the incantation I love on these in these cards. So I'm going to read this. I call upon the temple of obsidian black. I call on the love of Isis so strong. Stronger than any judgment or attack. It heals and makes whole any past wrong. I now choose to see the truth of my being whole. I see how in this pain I played a role. I choose to let pain of judgment be released. I choose to love and accept with deep peace. Transformation and healing now come to me. I love all parts of my being, infinite and free. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I don't even like... I'm going to pick one more card. The energy right now is very... I'm feeling very intense energy, so excuse me if I'm 
I got like a little emotion, emotion seeing this card. Um, soul retrieval, 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 little, little, <laughs> can't talk. Soul retrieval. It's because the divine goddess, the divine goddess mother, like the divine mother of all creation, like divine mother, loves her beloved, loves her beloved masculine, divine masculine, and is guiding him into his, into this light and through that dark chamber. Yes. It's, it's very transformative. And look at that light. So it's deep soul healing with the goddess, soul retrieval. And it's those aspects of yourself, those aspects of yourself that are there. I'm talking about the soul, not the personality. Call those back to you. I invite you, divine masculine to to call back your soul fragments that may have been stolen and lost uh, to call the soul parts back to you that are yours call your divine power back to you let the goddess help you let the goddess in okay so that is is so beautiful soul retrieval i don't know why it's just there's there's this there's this energy of just like divine flow goddess energy just flowing to the divine masculine to invite you invite you to go through this chamber which you have you have you are transforming and reaching towards this light within you okay and so that was the energy coming through as i was starting to get a little bit of emotion because the divine god goddess wants to see they love their loves their children loves their beloved like we're all one consciousness Soul retrieval, deep soul healing. So Isis healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration. So yes, after you're going through these, these, um, these, these battles, these 3D matrix battle war zones. Okay. And, and being just slammed and slammed and slammed and getting up and persevering and going again is, is offering you deep restoration after going into this energy of the dark chamber facing your fears facing whatever is within you that needs to be released okay so re yeah re okay so let me read this again <laughs> isis healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had. That's exactly how it is. Because once I started opening myself up and going through my, my own journey, these aspects of myself and those lost pieces came, came flooding back to me. And then I started getting all these intuitive um, energies and anyways that's my story so let me get back on track did you know that pieces of you can be trapped in the past in traumatic experiences and in in relationships even those long since gone because part of your power remains with another this can happen because of permission subconsciously given for them to hold a piece of your spirit then the time comes for such permissions to be revoked and the pieces of self to be reclaimed and restored restored to the soul okay master healer and goddess of deep soul restoration the lady isis now guides you to make peace with the past and reclaim the lost pieces of your own soul the time has come for you to take yourself entirely into your own possession to call back your soul from trauma in this lifetime and others. 
to give yourself back to yourself wholly and completely. In doing so, your life will flourish, infused with greater energy into beautiful new expression. This is how much the divine goddess, mother energy loves her beloved. Okay. As far as like, yes, that's just how it's coming through. This is channeling. This is how it, how it comes through. Isis calls the soul back into wholeness again. Her passion, determination, and unfailing love for her beloved Osiris restored him from a dismembered, distorted, and fractured self into a whole divine masculine being once more. That's right. How Isis brought him back together again. You can look that look up the story of Isis and Osiris. The Oracle Soul Retrieval guides you to forgive and reclaim your own power and energy in totality now. Even if the trapped ener energy is so unconscious that you do not even know that you are missing part of yourself. Yes. That is, that is it. Sometimes you don't know. You're just going through life. Exactly. Searching for any inner places that feel incomplete or draining is a way to commence the process of soul retrieval. It's going, that's why going within is so important. And, and it's how, it's how you change your outer reality is from within and really, um, Yes, going with it. Okay. Forgiveness can be a good place to begin the work more consciously. This is a hard spiritual work sometimes because we can we can want to be right or justified if we feel or perceive and we don't want to be harmed again by allowing inappropriate behavior. Of course, and you know, you have your boundaries. You can have ba healthy boundaries, of course. Um, but in the action of forgiveness, you are simply reclaiming your energy from the situation. Yeah, that's so true. You're reclaiming your energy. It's, I don't know where I message, but whoever you interact with, wherever, and all of the times and spaces, there's an aspect of you left, and especially if it was traumatic, left there were an aspect of that and so forgiveness is a great tool i can see how that that makes perfect sense so it's yeah it's your energy field like pieces of your energy field just being taken like you know and so reclaiming your energy from the situation person or experience so that it is at your disposal instead of being trapped in their in their energy field what is most likely to occur is that the person, place, or situation will simply fall away from your life and be released. You will not be up opening yourself up to attack. You'll be wiser and stronger for your forgiveness and the ability that forgiveness gives you to reclaim your spirit. You will have more energy and with no further effort, you will actually move on, not just in mind or body, but in spirit. This oracle also indicates you have healing ability, that you are capable of channeling soul energy to help others forgive and reclaim their spirit too. The more you base your work at unconditional love, which is the true nature of the soul, is unconditional love. The more, pow the more powerful your work will become for yourself and for others in service, your healing gift is quite deep. And if you're interested in working in a healing capacity with others or wondering if this is the right calling for you, then this card serves as a confirmation for you. So, and this is talking about healers. Um, okay, so let's read the incantation. Isis with love, unconditional and strong. Help me rise above right and wrong. 
to forgive, release, and make myself whole, to retrieve lost pieces of my soul. Restore the inner light grid of gold, free me from trauma new and old. Isis with love, unconditional and strong, help me be whole now and finally move on. Wow. Those were only two cards, but see how they're very deep and intense. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I don't use this deck very often, but I'm going to. Okay. It is the past life deck. I kind of want to see if there's a card uh, that res deck. And it wants to come out that maybe has to do with the soul retrieval, this energy of calling back. Oh, look at, look at the top. Lessons and blessings. Yep. Divine Masculine, you have gone through very many less, very many, so many lessons and the clock, you know, the time, the time is, is going on. Remember time is, time in this world is an illusion. All there is is now in this now moment, but yes, the soul, re those moments of reclaiming your soul and those, okay. okay, so hopefully there's no noise background on here. Spirit, is there, is there a card? that will give us some clarity on what we have discovered so far for Divine Masculine. These are beautiful energies, like, got me to tears, like, what? I feel the Divine Goddesses and, like, all of Heaven really helping, helping this divine, the divine masculine collective to rise into their truth of who they are. Okay. Yes. Because imprisonment, imprisonment and slavery has been gone on for too long. This represents to me this, the matrix, which is breaking down. Okay. We're coming into this new consciousness. So imprisonment or slavery, you have the choice. You do not have to live in this imprisonment and this also is the mental the mental but the mind um because the message that i'm receiving is of the mind uh that the masculine energy has been so caught up in the logic and the mind and and it's time to move into this heart space okay so this imprisonment slavery it's been lessons it's, and, and we're talking about generation and generation and time and time and, and time, not just this life, okay? Mother, yes. M the mother energies, your mother energy, like your, any, any representation of, of, of a mother in your life, mothers, the divine mother. And let's see if we have another. Phobias, fears. We have phobias, fears with imprisonment and slavery. Okay, and in mother energy. So this is also a, um, that's why the dark healing chamber going within and going through that um, initiation of the dark chamber is, um, and the goddess, the goddess helps you. The goddess helps you with that. Any um, distorted views, any distorted uh, feminine aspects of letting that go, okay? And letting that go because that is not the truth. We're all trust. We're all going through that, uh, going within and seeing what distorted uh, masculine, feminine energies we have carried on and held on to. Okay, my nose is really itchy. Okay, so trust and faith comes out, which is yes, and I I love this because the angel looks like he's like yeah. <laughs> So trust and faith that everything that has happened, or not happened, but everything that you have come to at this point, beloved divine masculine, the feminine is saying, the goddesses are saying, have trust and faith. You are on the right path. You are going forward. 
Okay, that's so beautiful. But those phobias, those fears. Okay. Those, those phobias and fears are, a lot of them are created from the mind and from this matrix and from our social conditioning and from all these things. And it's, they no longer serve us. And we're asking and we are guiding by masculine collective. And there are divine masculines who are, you know, awakened and stuff. I'm not saying that. But there's the specific waves of groups that are really like on they're on the precipice of big time awakenings, big time changes and self discoveries. And the goddess energy is so in love and so <laughs> and is so in alignment with pulling that down, supporting that, being of support. Okay, and look at we have Metatron, okay, which is Archangel Metatron is like the twin flame. He is like the Archangel of Twin Flames. And so we've got the diamond right in the in the middle, and we have wisdom. The wisdom is all within. The wisdom, everything that you've ever needed, comes from within. So I invite you, dear divine masculines, to go within more, to ask the questions, to ask for your soul, um, your pieces of your soul, to be returned to you. Reclaim, use your word, use the power of the I am. You have the wisdom. Angels are guiding you. Okay. So I'm going to pull from, I think it's the incense, it's like going right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the deck. I don't know this. What's it called? What is it called? Sacred Rebels. Sacred Rebels. This is good. Divine Feminine. Two Divine Masculine. Oh my gosh, I got this card yesterday. Power of Attraction. 13, a 4, stability, anchoring this truth, reflection. This represents, you know, that the Alpha and the Omega are the, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. The balance, the alchemy, the, ref, the reflection. It is supporting you. It's such a beautiful card. I honestly don't even have words for this card. Look how gorgeous. No words. Divine Goddess is asking you to go within yourself to find that harmony within yourself. Pandora's gift came out again. That's okay to open that box. Open that box and let all of those things, all of those aspects of you come out that you never even knew that you had. Okay? It's, it's amazing. Once you let that, once you open it up, you realize you're multidimensional. You realize, oh my gosh, like this is just a body, and I and in, in this body is housed a soul, a beautiful soul, is multidimensional, who actually is not trapped in this body. At night can go and astral travel and go places, can use their imagination, can use their their co-creative abilities to manifest what they want. Okay, so I'm asking that's very powerful energies and look at this again keep getting this card dream a beautiful dream it starts within it starts within using 
your third eye and, and visualizing. I'm honestly, I'm gonna say, I'm a master at visualizing. I'm a master. Like, I can close my eyes, I'm clairvoyant. I can see, I have predicted things. I mean, I haven't predicted a lot. It's not like I have predicted major things, but you know, I've predicted things. I don't know why, why I'm talking about myself all of a sudden, but <laughs> dream a beautiful dream, divine masculine. This new earth is here, is here for you. Rise into that, into that vibration, okay? You are, you're doing great, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, let's see what not what let's see if it comes out as far as ascended masters who are supporting you right now divine masculine so and it's just a major time right now like all of the readings that i've done on the energies that i'm pulling resonate with this shift with this shift going on especially between um twin flames right now Pulling us forward into our mission work, definitely. Because it's about love. It's about unconditional love and spreading that love and you have it. You have it. Divine Goddess supports you. And as the Divine Feminine, as she rises, you rise. You know, if she is that light to you, then use that, use that to, not use it, but, you know, utilize that to propel you forward as well. Because, I gotta say this, Mercury came out again. Communicate. <laughs> Open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Using your voice. Using that, those, those, you got those angel wings. Let it take flight. Say something. Say. Just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Which I know. I know Divine Masculine's not use our voice. But it's it's more of just a voice. It's a voice. Your spiritual truth. Your truth. What you want. What do you want? Okay. Serapis Bay. Ascension. You are ascending. Beautiful Divine Masculine. We're not leaving you behind. Kind of tired of this energy, of certain energies from certain feminines, and maybe they're not twin flames, but talk, you know, talking bad about divine masculines. Then, no, that's not how you support each other. Okay, move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. We are here to support one another. This is why twin flames are needed right now. They are needed. I mean, a long time ago, but there's more and more and more of them now because that's what's going to help the ascension and help heal the old um, wounded masculine, wounded feminine, these wounded relationships from just eon, you know, eons and of just like, not of conditioned love. Oh, I will do this for you only if you do this for me and blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's ascension time. It's Ascension Go time. So you have Therapist Bay coming in at you. That's awesome. Wow, I didn't expect this video to be so long. Ugh. For Divine Masculine from Divine Feminine Goddess. Perfect. And it landed right on my leg. The fi. <laughs> Bridget, I connect with Bridget. I've been connecting with Bridget for a while now. She is the goddess of, she's a goddess of fire and I've, I'm the goddess of fire. Fire, the flame, the hearth, the home, the family. And she represents inner strength. So she says, move back to wholeness and recognize that you have the power. You have the power to ascend. You have the power to ascend for, oh, I just saw on the clock, four, 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 lots of force, stability, balance, 
grounding this into the physical from the spiritual. And sometimes that's why some, you know, as twin flames, we don't see things yet on the physical uh, manifest because it takes time to align and to have it vibrate and then come into the physical, okay? And there's lessons and, and karma cycles have to be like finished and stuff like that. So what I'm saying is, what am I saying? Everything is all divinely guided. It's all divinely planned. It's all, I mean, you have your part. Okay, so beautiful. Okay, so charity came out. Prayer and contemplation connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Connect with heaven. We have prayer and contemplation. Go into prayer. Like I said with earlier, you have to go within. Um, I, I just, I love this necklace, by the way. Can you tell I'm just like matching over here? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have to end this video soon because it's getting long. Yes, reaching for your dreams. Go for it. What else? What else do we have? Interesting orphaned. So this is a uh, energy. This is coming up many times. For, for you to, that is a dark chamber, that is going to the dark chamber and healing that. Childhood issues, feeling abandoned, doesn't have to be this lifetime, can be other lifetimes. Uh, forgiveness, forgiveness of self and unforgiveness of others to move on to this new pathway. Let's pick another card to kind of see what, what's after that, you know. Creativity. The orange chakra, the sacral chakra, which is connects to your passion, your passion, your creative forces. That is the womb energy of the divine goddess. In, in, in intimacy, definitely intimacy. It's almost like this this energy of feeling like abandoned and alone, orphaned, which is a five. Wanting to change this and look at this to feeling this intimacy. So you can, you can have this. Just come to the goddess. <laughs> okay. Enough of my stuff. Karyorite individualization. We have one more card. I think we'll see but this is from the liquid crystal deck oracle deck liquid crystal carry a right individualization you are in a divine expression of, of source okay wow anything else Ooh, I think this is a perfect way to end this. Round and round. It's like the ascension cycle. Round and round you go in this cycle. But it's a beautiful, I, I look at it, it's a very beautiful positive energy because it's like the throat chakra. You see this blue? Of speaking, your, speaking up. Courage, speaking your truth. And then aligning also into the higher the higher chakras which are indigo and di deeper blues this is this this is the uh excuse me this is the symbol for me for ascension and and raising our consciousness into a higher into the truth the truth of who we are which is all of the abundance all of the joy all of the love unconditional love our soul wants us to be in that place 4949 <laughs>
on the counter. And I think that is a beautiful way to, to kind of close this reading. Divine Masculine from the Divine Goddess, from the Divine Feminine. So you have all the tools that you need. Go within. You're going in from that um, enter this you which you, you may have already entered it, you know, and maybe you're at this you're starting to come to this spot wherever you're at in your journey. But it is part of the soul's growth to to enter this dark chamber and to face your shadow self and to face the ego and to face fears and we all have to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're so bold and you're so courageous, which you are, okay, um, the more that we resist, the more persists, okay? So come towards this beautiful light. Ask for help in retrieving the lost parts of your soul because you are more than just your personality. That is just, that's just based on like how you're raised and conditioning and, and all that, that stuff. I'm talking about your soul. Who is your soul? We are all parts of each other. And because this is a twin flame energy, we are part of our divine feminine, vice versa. And I just thank you for tuning in if you are watching this. Hopefully some fine masculines are watching this. We have Bastet right here. Beautiful Bastet of the home the family, protection, also sending you love and vibe, spiritual vibes. and So you can do this. You've got this. Blessings. Um, email me, artsyintuitive at gmail.com if you're interested in, in, in getting a reading with me or have any questions. Um, okay. So have a blessed evening. And we'll, I'll see you later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.